Hey y'all, so like many of you, I'm sure I've been busy and pissed off all day today, but before I go in there and drown my sorrows, I thought I'd take a minute to talk about the big acquittal from this weekend. Frankly, the way I feel right now is pretty much the way I feel at the end of every college football season as a Tennessee fan. I'm the opposite of surprised. It went exactly the way I always expected it to go, but that doesn't make me any less disgusted or upset by it. I mean, it's just Republicans doing what they do best. Spineless sanctimony, the calling card of the modern GOP. And as always, they were led by Chief Invertebrate Mitch McConnell. Old dead-handed, all neck and no lip-ass motherfucker up there talking about there was no question, none whatsoever, that Trump was responsible for the insurrection. He's saying this right after he voted to hold Trump not responsible for the insurrection. It takes... A special kind of asshole to say some shit like that with a straight face. Which I, I mean, I know his face ain't really straight. It's more melty, but you know what I mean. And of course, he's far from the only one. Lindsey Graham, which now that I'm thinking about it, goddamn dude, none of these some bitches have lips. That's kind of wild, right? Like, especially considering all the puckering up they have to do. It's kind of ironic, you know, which I mean, I guess you don't have to have lips to tongue an oil baron's balloon knot, but still, it's kind of wild. I digress. Lindsey Graham, he was so upset by the behavior he voted to absolve Trump of that afterwards he said what was needed was an independent investigation, something like the 9-11 Commission, to ensure that nothing like this ever happened again. I love the subtext here. So it's kind of like Lindsey saying, like, listen, what you guys need is like an independent proceeding, right? Like th this, this was an ethically compromised farce, <laughs> what we just did. That ain't it. No, you need like a real thing with like people with integrity and stuff like that, not pieces of shit like me. That'd probably work out better for you. That's pretty much what he said. <sighs> I wish a roaster would kill him. Look, y'all, if it somehow wasn't clear enough already, this whole deal just crystallizes the fact that these motherfuckers are a lost cause. There is no working with them, no reasoning with them. Like you, you trying to work with them on fixing the country moving forward would be like trying to work with a chimpanzee who just ate Taco Bell on cleaning the shit from the walls of his enclosure. They're just going to keep pooping and smearing it all over the place. That's what they do, right? So, all you can do is lure the monkey into another room, lock the door, and go about your business. We have some measure of power now. We have to use it to do the things we think need to be done to make shit better. And if they work, if people's lives are actually improved by them, then there won't be any repercussions. There won't be any political fallout. You don't have to reach across the aisle. We don't need them. And it wouldn't matter if we did because they've proven time and time again they're not going to play that game. So let's play it without them. Fuck if they like it or not. That's what I think.